right, let's now shift uh, to focus to the state of Karnataka. Now, Karnataka has recorded the highest 24-hour uh, spike with 918 new cases in the state. State government has now brought back curfews on Sundays from July 5th onwards. Uh, all state government offices, meanwhile, uh, will also remain closed on Saturdays from the 10th of July. And night curfew will remain in place from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. So those timings have been extended from the 29th of June. Uh, this uh, even Bengaluru has reported 596 positive cases in the last 24 hours. Uh, Neha is joining us for more details. Uh, Neha, of course, uh, we have seen in the past also how curfew norms were flouted as far as Bengaluru is concerned. But now this once a week lockdown has been brought into place uh, in Bengaluru as well in Karnataka. Uh, take us through what exactly the rationale is now. In fact, you know, in Karnataka, we're seeing a sudden spike in the number of cases while, you know, on average, the um, the daily cases that were being reported were anywhere between 300 to 500. Um, on Saturday, we saw the highest spike in cases being reported at 900 and about, uh, you know, 20 cases or so. And uh, keeping this in mind now, you know, also in order to ensure that containment efforts are put in place at the earliest, the government of Karnataka has taken a slew of decisions, starting from, you know, imposing lockdown every Sunday is what we understand. Only essential services will be permitted on, uh, you know, Sundays. And apart from this, also, um, you know, li like you rightly said, the curfew also, you know, has been advanced to an hour early. So earlier, while it was starting from 9 p.m., it's now going to be in place from 8 p.m. Now, apart from this, also, the larger concern that, uh, you know, that the government had was these vegetable markets or the wholesale markets where, you know, uh, the crowd used to be absolutely uncontrollable, especially during the evening hours when people would step out to buy vegetables and fruits. So now the BBMP has also been directed to, you know, reduce the number of large wholesale markets and open up smaller markets so that people, you know, the crowd is actually regulated and there's not overcrowding in any one place or one market. Now, these are a couple of, you know, important uh, steps that the government is taking. But, uh, you know, even of course, as this has come into force, the number of cases in Karnataka has been on the rise and the number of deaths also has been uh, on the rise. So, um, a few steps have also been taken in that direction, you know, with regard to the number of ambulances that the chief minister has asked to be increased. And he's also gone on to say that, you know, for the mortal remains of the COVID-19 patients, separate ambulances must be reserved and also uh, places must be identified, more places must be identified uh, where the patients, you know, can in fact uh, be laid to rest, Avni. Yes, absolutely, Neha. Thanks so much for joining us uh, with all of those details. Uh, that's as far as Bengaluru and Karnataka is concerned, where there is going to be now lockdown once a week uh, from uh, from a Sunday. Every Sunday, in fact, uh, that is going to be uh, the case uh, at this point. Thanks for joining us.